natural, I think, is absolutely accurate when it comes to meteor vineyards. It's just a spot where, I don't know, for want of a better word, the grapes are real happy. We are in Coombsville here. We're neighbors of uh, Tracy and Barry, so it's, it's even more exciting for us because we love this area of Napa. We are uh, in the eastern part of Napa here where we're on these beautiful white volcanic soils and pretty close to the bay. And uh, so we have cooler temperatures here and the wines are very fresh and very darkly colored, very ripe, and uh, we love it. We always see it have bud break first um, compared to all of our other Cabernet vineyards up Valley. But then it switches and it's one of the last ones to be harvested. And I think it's just the, the temperature fluctuations from up Valley to down Valley throughout the year. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting vineyard that way. It's always fun to, um, fun to watch it. You know, maybe, maybe some of these round, real round rocks have to do with um, why the vineyard grows the way it grows. Um, it does grow moderately. It grows slowly through the season. It doesn't take off with any great vigor. I think, you know, one of the things to me that's been so encouraging about the vineyard as it's gotten older is that it does seem to, to follow a really smooth path during, during the summer. It's distinctive. And that's something that we look for at Etude and all of the vineyards that we work with up the valley is that each one has to bring a level of distinction to the blend. And, and uh, the Meteor Vineyard is, is absolutely unique and it's dark fruit and, and very, very supple and lush texture. Um, it's great to see the, the, the vines grow up to the point where that, that's apparent. One of my favorite areas of Napa and some of my favorite people in Napa and some of my favorite wines now in Napa. So uh, very, very exciting. It's pretty wonderful.